Nicole. Nicole. Kaya, maanghang. <laughs> maanghang din kaya ang maririnig natin sa ating guest for today. Masasarap na putahe, maanghang, no? Mahilig sila sa sili at gata. Parang, parang, parang nga lang yung ating guest today. Bagay. Diba? bagay maanghang dito. ang kanyang mga pronouncement, mga salita. Nagaya nito lamang, marami din na nabigla na naka-pink siya. Considering ang kanyang good friend ay green. Mm-hmm. Diba? Na ang partner ay red. Known as one of the bright boys noong panahon ni BGMA. Uh, and pagdating sa ekonomiya, talagang uh, napakagaling nito, napakatalas nito. No? But uh, he is also a veteran uh, politician na usually sa mga political strategies, kasama siya lagi ng kanilang, mga, ng kanilang partido. So marami tayong mapapag-usapan ngayon. Mm-hmm. Maanghang, hindi lang locally, I'm sure, uh, yung national level ay madidiscuss yes. din natin yan maya-maya. Mga yes, kapat- kayang-kaya ng guests natin yan. <laughs> uh-huh. In the run-up to the 2022 elections, we go local. We look into the politics in your province, city, and barangay and talk to the leaders who have a direct hand in shaping your lives. I'm Jay Taruk. And I'm Cheryl Kwasim. As, As they, they say, say all, all politics, politics is, is local. Vice 2nd District Representative Joey Salceda is known for his no-holds-barred approach in politics. Congressman Salceda is the son of late former Pulangi Albay Mayor Jesus Salceda Sr. He graduated cum laude in BS Management Engineering in Ateneo de Manila University. Former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo was his professor at the university and Arroyo eventually hired him to be part of her the economic team. Congressman Salceda is an economist by profession with Best Analyst and Best Economist Award under his belt. As far as his career public service goes, Congressman Salceda only ran for either Governor of Albay or representative of his district. But his opinions are valued elsewhere in the country. Now, he seeks re-election in 2022, battling five other opponents who are also running for the same post. All right, tonight we welcome Albay 2nd District Representative Kong Joey Salceda. Welcome to the show, sir. Yeah, um, thank you. At, uh, thank you, Jay, and thank you, Sharon. Oh, partner. Uh, sino mo na? Ako na lang siguro. Sige, masaya tong usapan natin ito eh. Itong kwentuhan natin eh. Tungkol dito sa ano eh, front runner pa rin. Si Marcos Jr., si BBM. Sa presidential surveys, uh, are you still confident about your choice for president up to this point? Ang, ang choice ko naman kasi, choice base ko sa ano ko eh. Sa, sa sarili kong criteria. I don't look at numbers kasi I don't look at the ratings eh. Kasi wag na lang tayo mag-election. Uh-huh. Mag-survey na lang tayo mag-survey. Uh-huh. But, but are you expecting um, um, may mga changes? Magkakaroon ng changes? Uh, I hope the Lenny Group will not... Uh, no. uh, we had a two-hour session in my house and I was quite frank and forthright that if it's... Um, they cannot beat Marcos separately. That was as close as I can. And they were... Arguing with me, if it's okay, it's a three-corner fight. No, sabi ko, it's only a one-on-one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sabi only ka, a one-on-one, will they have a chance? Mm-hmm. Oh. Kong, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Kong, nung po kayo ay nag-desisyon, kailan kayo nag Kasi lahat ay nabigla na ang kineri nyo na presidente ay si VP Lenny. Pero alam naman ng lahat na kayo po ay malapit na kaibigan ni Vice Mayor, ay ni Vice Mayor, ni Vice Presidential Aspirant uh, Mayor Inday Sara Duterte. Kailan kayo nag at sabi mo nga base ito sa um, kaya? Nung ano, nung hindi na po siya, ano, na hindi siya nag-substitute. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh. I had to look for somebody who has the same qualities and character and vision basically. And Kasi kung titignan mo, good governance, ba't hindi rin yan si Sarah? In terms of innovation, ang, ang, ang galing-galing talaga, talaga model. 
siguro comparable lang siya or even better than the Binay local governance. Mm-hmm. At may criteria ka eh, sabi mo. Lima yan eh, di ba? Kung naalala ko. <laughs> may mga humingi na nga eh. Sabi ko, uh, based down. Pero ang pinakaano lang talaga is um, uh, commitment to local governance is key. Um, siyempre, yung um, yung yung track record mo while in public service um, and foremost of course is um, yung uh, malinis at walang bahit po na sa sa, sa kabuha ng buhay mo ito pong um, decision yung ito did you get to discuss this with with your party mate uh, my party mates they do send me ano, uh, inputs also kasi We have a we, I have a tight knit group of 40 p 40 congressmen in Congress, so oh. we do have a chat group that's pretty active and you know and uh, we do share our uh, our ideas. Ong Joey, uh, clearly, hindi lang po sa Bicolandra no ang uh, suporta for Aleni Robredo uh, candidacy or presidency, pero sa inyo, for example, meron pa hubang um, Uh, ma- masasabi natin na uh, nakakagulat o sumusuporta pero tahimik lang uh, na mga uh, kongresista o mga kampo pero they're working on Aleni Robredo, Sara Duterte uh, 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 tandem. tandem. This is the Rosa Tandem. Oo, Rosa uh, Tandem. The team, well, the team Rosa definitely has taken shape and form and oh. um, But with respect to other congressmen, I think um, most of them are really, um, most of us, including me, uh, we have to uh, sort of make that, um, um, not trade-off, but rather, but um, we need to uh, measure. Because you know your collaboration is 60%, percent diba? Mm-hmm. At the same time, you know, all these all these all these congressmen come from very good school and well enlightened naman sila with respect to kung ano dapat ang sino dapat pipiliin mo, eh, di ba? So, uh, you have to take risk basically. So, it's their predisposition really for Lenny is based on their ability to their appetite for risk. So, will you go for somebody um Uh, kasi mga atinista yan, UP yan, mga lasal yan. So, and I'm quite, uh, I know that, uh, pero they have to make that decision, that, 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 that ultimate decision basically. Na, um, itong isa, konting kenbot lang, panalo na, o dito ka sa isa, na alam mo naman, eh, karapat dapat, pero dahil apat sila, pinbot. Eh, eh, problema lang naman kasi apat sila. Mm-hmm. So in other words, um, definitely a unity ticket. Um, at least before uh, the local election is um, is critical. If at all that uh, Lenny will have a chance in uh, in uh, in May. Mm-hmm. Sa so, tingin niyo po, may pagkakataon pa or na may Pwede pang mangyari na may mga mag-back out at uh, magkaroon ng, I mean, uh, unity ticket. Pwede pang, kasi sabi niyo nga, you don't look at the numbers, um, Ako. pero, you don't look at the numbers, pero kung as, uh, as a congressman at doon pa sa mga kasamahan mo po na kongresista, ay tingin niyo po ay malakas pa rin yung impluensya sa mga constituents kung sino po yung i-carry niyo na candidate I would like, say that uh, may mga I think it depends on the local situation kasi nga all politics is local so you have the governors you have the congressmen and you have the mayors so there is an interplay of turfs basically sometimes they overlap sometimes they differentiate so um Um, ang problema kasi, I think uh, the president did not send a strong signal uh, so and the parties did not nominate, most of the parties did not nominate essentially the, the big ones, NPC, NUP, PDP. So I don't know if NP has already come out for the tandem, for example, mm-hmm. officially. 
Oh, so, mas pwede ko kayo. Ay, sige, sorry, partner. partner. Parang sige, partner. karamihan din kong sa mga nakausap na po namin dito dun sa past episodes, tuwing tatanungin din namin kung sino yung endorso nila, nangangapa pa rin sila kasi nga, um, ay, nagdadalong isip kong siguro meron na silang napili para sa kanila pero hindi pa rin nagsasalita because wala pang malinaw na presidential aspirant oh. na susuporta ng kanilang mga partido. Going Kaya on na, na February na, wait and see pa rin sila, yeah. partner, di ba? Yes. <laughs> Kaya nga, isang risk yan. Pero talaga sinawag ko na sarili ko na nasa I'm already far too far out of the shore and I just have to uh, sail to the my island of destination. So even if the president comes out, so sabi ko, and I've, I've clarified this with, uh, I had a long talk with uh, my former boss, ex-president PJMA, yeah. and explained my position. I've explained my position to House Majority Leader, um, the first cousin of BBM, uh, with respect to my position, because I, I really campaigned for him for speakership. Uh, so sabi ko, this is, uh, no. so, wag, wag kayo magagalit na kahit lumabas pa kayo, hindi na ako makakabalik sa, in other words, if uh, at all this part is make us uh, a position with respect to nominating a president. Curious ako, uh, partner Jay, um, nagkaroon kayo ng long talk ng dati mong boss na si CGMA. Ano po ang kanyang naging reaction? <laughs> Naintindihan daw niya. Kilala naman niya ako. But uh, she was asking me essentially for all my economic presentations. So we were discussing economics essentially. Mm-hmm. So with respect to politics, sabi niya, oh, I understand your position. Basically, and she knows me. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about uh, changes no, to better the chances of... Uh, well, itong... Y- yung minamanok mo, no, si VP Lenny. Uh, mayroon kang sinabing... Uh, eto, payong kaibigan, ang sabi mo. No? <laughs> <laughs> ang sabi mo, eh, to drop the corny laylayan catchword. Uh, do you think, uh, can you elaborate on this? And tingin mo, malaki epekto nito sa imahe o sa mga mensahe na gustong iparating ni uh, VP Lenny? Eh, kasi di lumalabas yung kanya, ano eh, yung pagiging good governance saka innovative eh. Sa, sa kanya pong pagpatakbo ng Office of the Vice President at saka yung long work niya in uh, NGOs, uh, defending farmers. Alam mo yung unang ko, remember Sumilaw, halos if you wanna ask me and encapsulated in one advice, think Sumilaw. That changed the, her elections of 2016. You see that, 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 that massive people coming to, you know, marching for You know, things to me now because it shows her character. It defines her character essentially. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And kayo po ba, magmula nung huli tayo nag-usap kung kayo po ba ay nagka-texta na ulit or nagka-usap ng personal ni uh, Mayor Sara Duterte? Ayaw po, lagi. Oo. Ano po yung huling development? Kamusta po? Ah. Naiintindihan naman niya, she respects my decision, essentially. Eh, mat- matali kong kaibigan yun eh. Eh, alam mo naman, sabi nga sa akin, nung hindi siya nag-file ng president, ano, inumaga ka ba ng inum? <laughs> <laughs> oh kasi naalala ko, you were, you were very sure na talagang magpe-presidente po siya. Napag-usapan niyo ba yun? Bakit daw bumaba siya sa VP? At Nina. bakit ang pinili niyang pangulo ay si BBM na katandem? I still maintain that she is the she is the she is the best president for this milieu, the current milieu. Um, uh, her decision to run, not to run, I think, um, although I have suspicions, but I am not I am not enough authorized to talk about it. Basically, uh-huh. I'd rather not talk about it. Let let I think she she will she should be the one to to explain why she did not run for her president. All right, pero bago tayo mag uh, commercial break partner no. Ang hanging question ko kay Kong Joey is this ano. Nang nag-usap kay ni Sara, uh, wala ba siyang uh, disappointment? Hindi ka ba niya sinubukang kumbinsi na bakit magle-Lenny ka eh, ang partner ko? Ang decision ko eh BBM ano. Pero bago mo sagutin, <laughs> Kong Joey ha. Bago mo sagutin niya, we'll just pause for a short break. 
You're still watching All Politics is Local. We'll be right back. Channels ba ang hanap mo? Sa Satellite TV! May bagong channels na ikasasayo mo ng todo! Mama Food Trip! Cartoons! O Movie Marathon! Todo enjoy ang buong pamilya dahil ano man ang load mo, siguradong may bago ang mapapanood! Kaya punta na sa Suking Retailer at mag-load ka! Welcome back. You're still watching All Politics is Local with us, Albay, 2nd District Representative and Re-Electionist Joey Salceda. Kung bago tayo pumunta locally, no, yung inyong labanan dyan sa local, ay yun nga hanging question ng aking partner. Nung kayo nagkausap ni uh, Mayor Inday, hindi ka ba niya um, kinumbinsi na, teka, iba ang partner ko eh, si BBM ang uh, presidente ko. Hindi ka ba niya yeah. kinumpinsi? Nag-press release yung lakas si Abby at saka siya mismo into interview set. Ano? Supportan natin si Joey sa kanya pong, uh, sa kanya political. Ano? Sa, uh, so, basically, ang, in, 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 in the long and short of it, at uh, sinabi niya na meron sila agreement ni Marcos to accept support from wherever it comes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pero on a personal level, hindi ka ba kinansyawan? <laughs> ano? Ikaw naman talaga, Joey. Eh. Alam mo naman kung sino ang presidente ko. Kung sino... she, had, she already had uh, no, an idea right after na um, there was an exchange of chat between me and her. Um, so, of course, kumisa hindi na lang niya sinasagot. Uh, kung Joey, yung mga, eto curious lang ako, yung mga theories at possibilities na ma-disqualify si BBM, and si Sarah po, ang nakapwesto na may possibility na pwede siyang uh, humalili. Are you entertaining this uh, yeah, theory? Because uh, I truly believe in the philosophy that let the people, that you always get the government that you deserve. So you let the people decide. Okay. So I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't look into those uh, legalistic uh, maneuvers. Mm-hmm. So if the people decide after all the information has been made to them, been made to them, then you, 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 then it's your duty now to support um, the president uh, that you have voted for. And the problem is that the Filipino, you know, they hire them as cooks. Pakaya nila ng kusinero, pambabayaan nila sa kusina kahit hindi na masarap yung pagkain. So, I think at the end of the day, you go to Hannah Arendt philosophy that people should be of civic engagement. So, that is, I think, uh, central to me. Mm-hmm. So, in the, in the, ano, so, let the people decide. And I think it's their civic duty to support. Uh, especially the, or support or at least participate and um, fiscalize, you know. Uh, the government. And now that it's the presidential elections, you go around your district. Yes. Um, kung um, babalikan ko po yung mga ginawa niyong basihan sa pagpili ng pang- Pangulo, nandun yung character, good governance, the vision, may, may dalawa pa eh, kung, um, the track record. Um, ganito rin ba? Pag ikaw ay nangangampanya, hindi mo lang ikinakampanya yung sarili mo, pero tinutulungan mo yung mga constituents mo na ganito kayo dapat mamili. May ah, yes. 
sila to choose. Of course, they have the freedom to, to choose. Pero at least man lang remind them. Do you remind them na ito dapat yung pinagbabasihan ninyo? Parang voter education partner, no? Oo. Voter education. Uh, as President Jimmy told Bistec Kabautista, my endorse, uh, I have endorsement value in Albay because... PJMA won in 2004 in only three provinces in Luzon. One of them is mine. Mm. So it's not just that I carry them, but uh, I always believe that politics is a prophetic and pastoral character. So prophetic means it is essentially a teaching mission. And pastoral mm. means that as an elected leader, you have to take care of your people and lead them to the right worldview. So... They can see in themselves uh, their own potential and you provide essentially the duty of a leader is, a, is to be a binding force and provide the enabling environment for them to achieve that. But at the end of the day, the biggest legacy you can, you can leave to your people is if you put an ambition into their hearts and so they, 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 they will aspire. For uh, for a bet, uh, for a future that's far better than they inherited, and that they will leave be, that they will lead to their next generations a, fa- um, a better future than what they arrived at. At jan po sa inyong distrito, uh, kong ilan ilan po kayo maglalaban laban lima, tama ba? Lima, yeah, lima. But uh, none of them are actually belong for a, to a national party. Okay, so, so masasabi ba natin na mas na komportable ka naman. Parang, uh, <laughs> um, may kalaban ka bang may tuturing? Uh, my only poverty, my only enemy is poverty. <laughs> so, uh, for, my, for my past nine uh, elections, I was virtually, I was unopposed or virtually unopposed for seven times, including this one. Uh, what would be your priority, uh, Kong Joey, no? kung sakaling ma-re-elect ka? And um, ano-ano yung mga, saan-saan ka magpo-focus, no? Let's say, uh, makabalik ka sa Kongreso. Well, uh, my, my political religion is Albay. Oh. Um, the Albay model, actually right now, the Albay uh, economic um, situation, uh, econo- uh, advantage is the fact that the train station and the airport are right beside each other. Mm-hmm. It's exact, almost 500 meters away. So, I, all have. so in short, uh, we I have designed an uh, um, intermodal road system that connects it to all the ports, to all the town centers, to the Legaspi Air, to the Legaspi Port, to the Matnog Port, the Donsol Port. You know, Albay has two coasts, one in Pacific, the other one is the West Philippine Sea. So it uh, has that potential of being a major transshipment hub south of Manila. So in short, it will be the gateway of um, Luzon, of, uh, Luzon to the Bismin trade. At the same time, we will essentially be, of course, um, um, kami po ang magiging hinterland ng ng ng, ng greater manila at uh, yung entire create which i um, i'm the principal author of eto a follow up lang partner uh, with all these uh, you've mentioned okay yan uh, for um, economic uh, development okay po yan uh, dito sa uh, albay region no? but but uh, where does post covid recovery uh, come into play kong uh, all of this kasi ang ang pandemya ho binago binago lahat ano uh, paano ho um, mangyayari ito kung meron pa tayong uh, ganitong problema and um, uh, oh. binabalik mo ako sa manila ano kasi <laughs> uh, kasi uh, you can have a macro my meso and a micro aspects of uh, that recovery yung micro basically i think uh, it means national resources in uh, in the mess of type the structural changes that have been in place like the psa public sector amendments and of course but on the macro that is where really confidence is very critical because our debt is already 60 percent of gdp but you need to grow in order to reduce it so that the numerator this is debt divided by gdp you need to rapidly grow the debt so that you can bring it down it will be downward sloping uh so for marcos the difficulty is two 
One, there's a black hole that is associated with um, those uh, the martial law era, those long dark era of um, martial law, of um, let's name it cronyism, corruption, and of course uh, human rights abuses, which are of course enshrined in EU, US, uh, is in their laws. Mm-hmm. in terms of the investments. So, hindi ka basta basta makaka-invest, you don't get insurance if you, you know, you don't get investment insurance if you, or you don't get, uh, you don't get assistance from the multilaterals and the bilaterals if you have this. Mm-hmm. So, yung adjustment period under him would be longer because uh, people will wait and see. So, kung ako ba si Pongbo, <laughs> the first thing I'll do even now is to slowly announce already my, my cabinet. To assure people that he has that uh, um, the people and the technocrats or the the but that is where again his handicap comes in because the bulk mm-hmm. of the current conglomerates in Taipan which are able to pay well for the best talent of this country have actually been have grown massively since 1986 so that these are post EDSA Taipans. Mm-hmm. So I don't know whether you will have the same expansive access to corporate talent once he's once he's there. Kaya nga sinasabi ko in a post-pandemic recovery, it is critical. Foreign investments become very critical. Hindi lang hindi na pwede foreign debt. Malaki na ang foreign debt natin, although they are basically multilateral, ADB World Bank, and hindi rin pwede in private debt kasi malaki na rin. It has to be foreign equity. That's why critical nga dyan yung create plus yung public services amendments. Um, I hope that he will be, ano, um, parang ano parang tinitreat ko na na panalo siya no ah, pero ang sinasabi ko na <laughs> ang, ang, ang fear Marcos na oh, oh. ang fear ko uh, well if he, if he uh, let talk uh, whoever wins because mm-hmm. Jamie essentially asked me to prepare a long document on whoever wins what should be the economic strategy mm-hmm. so we're, talk, we're talking essentially and trying to decipher why the 60% mm-hmm. so to destroy that 60% you need a traumatic a national trauma essentially or a strong national movement essentially offering an alternative um an alternative vision actually si Duterte actually provided that except that of course towards the end inabutan lang ng pandemic so he was able to create that grand national ambition except that his relationship with China was got in the way because um he should have He said the move, although he, was, he did so, which is really a credible defense posture, but it was overshadowed by her, but by his, uh, how do you call that, um, disproportionate uh, favor. Um, yung ganyang pagiging pro-China, not pro-China, yeah, let's name it, let's call a spade a spade. So, yung credible defense posture niya was essentially overshadowed by his pro-China stance. Kung okay. doon sa sinasabi mo, um, um, ihahang ko na lamang to. Mm-hmm. Okay, kung titignan kasi natin, sabi mo nga, well, you, you don't look on the numbers. Pero ito, ito yung talagang numero. Ito yung nasa survey, 60%. So kung titignan natin, kung siya talaga ang mga nanalo, sa tingin nyo, okay, um, uh, by 60%, kung magkakatotoo yan na 60%, talagang Um, uh, overwhelming yan para sa nasyon natin. Pero are you saying na maka, mahihirapan tayo pagdating sa ekonomiya uh, hmm. globally? Dahil kasi na, na, kasi okay. na, Kong Joey, kasi na, before, you, kasi, before you answer that, no, we'll just uh, pause for a short break. When we return, sasagutin po ni Kong Joey ang uh, aking, uh, itong uh, hanging question ng aking partner. We, uh, and then we find out where our candidates stand on certain issues. Para sa ating lightning round, you're still watching All Politics is Local. Magbabalik pa po kami. Tight sa budget pero gusto mo ng premium channels? For as low as 30 pesos, you can watch up to 81 channels. Wow! Just go to your nearest smart load retailer or use your smart SIM to pass a load. Choose your desired light load 
and access over 100 premium channels non-stop for two days. Yan ang hashtag Signal Hacks with Signal Light Floats. Light sa budget, premium ang viewing. Abot kayang saya ang hatid ng Satellite TV sa bagong tingit load. Mga paborito mong channels, mapapanood na for as low as 10, 15, at 25 pesos. All good for 3 days. Punta na sa suking load retailer at ipatext ang SL10, 15, o 25, space account number at isend sa 3443. Sulit sayang panunood sa presyong magaan sa bulsa sa Satellite Tingi Load. Mga satellite, mahigit 3 months na ba kayong hindi nakapag-load? Oras na para ibalik ang saya sa Satellite TV. Mag-load lang ng kahit anong amount hanggang March 31, 2022. And get your next load for free. Sulit ang pagbabalik ng masayang pananood sa dami ng channels na pwedeng sumaybayan. Kaya ano pang hinihintay mo? Punta na sa Suking Retailer at magpa-load na! All right, welcome back. You're still watching All Politics is Local. Still with us is Albay 2nd District Representative and Re-Electionist, uh, Kong Joey Salceda. Uh, Kong, yung ating uh, hanging question, ano? tanong ni uh, aking partner na si uh, Cheryl. Uh, go, go ahead. Oh, yung confidence. Kasi doon sa naiintindihan ko na sinasabi kanina ni Kong ay oo, oh, nananalo ka, 60% ang naniniwala sa'yo ng mga Pilipino, pero dapat ay binibigyan din ng halaga ng boboto or mamimili ng presidente yung trust and confidence ng hindi naman outside world but international community. Kasi it's the duty of a president to essentially uh, bring home the bacon. And much of the bacon is not here. So much of the technology is not here, management. In fact, if I am president, my first advice is to hire foreign scientists in order to introduce uh, science technology. You cannot reinvent that. It is it is moving so fast. So you need that, uh, you, as I've said, like me in Albay, I'm a binding force. I mobilize resources from the national government, even from foreign investors, foreign tourists. The next president also has to be a binding force. And in that, you don't control the markets. You don't control foreign investors. You don't control portfolio managers. So you need to earn the trust. You need to establish the basis for um, uh, that you that there will be rule of institutions, not rule of individuals, that there will be rule of law instead of um, no rules. And of course, at the same time, policy predictability. Ayun, pati, pati foreign policies kong apektado rin yan, ano? Uh, kung paano. And I think Marcos is also pro-China. Hmm. I've, I've, I've read all his pronouncements. Actually, all these candidates, I've read this, all, their, all their pronouncements. Written or otherwise. So, again, so that poses some, ano, um, especially in an era of Indo-Pacific uh, approach of uh, the U.S. No, kanina, actually, partner, gusto ko ihabol eh. Kasi diba napunta tayo doon sa yung um, pinag-usapan, yung um, sabi mo kanina, Kong, ay yung magagawa mo sa yung distrito. O pag-usapan natin yung sa climate change. Uh, actually, uh, I was chairman of the United Day. I was the first chairman of the United Nations Global Climate Fund. You know, a Filipino. I was voted by 186 developing countries with 13 billion. So actually, uh, we are we have zero casualty. In fact, much yeah. of the disaster risk reduction law were based on the Albay model. Uh, during my time as governor, I was able to reduce poverty from 42 to only 14. During my term, in nine years, I was able to inc increase my college graduate. I graduated provincially supported 188,000 college graduate. Uh, college graduate in every family. I was able to increase our uh, ranking in NAT from 177 out of 183 to number 19. I was able to achieve all the MDGs both the M out of 34,000 uh, deliveries, only nine died, only nine mothers died. 
I was able to achieve the international norm of the MDGs in IMR, CMR. I, irriga- I almost eradicated poverty. For the past 30 years, I'm the only awardee of the Kesson Award for, for TB eradication. Essentially, through early detection, um, nutrition intervention, as well as cure. So, actually, in turn, I can combine both. Because the um, economy is just an enabler for social investment. So, I think uh, for Albay, that is actually work. So, I can enumerate a lot of um, much of uh, the developments, of, uh, especially both economic and social in Albay. Mm-hmm. Alam mo, partner, di ba, naalala ko, um, tinawag na one of the bright boys kay Joy <laughs> sa panahon ni GMA. At nakita, kagaya niyan, hanggang ngayon ay hinihingang ka pa po ni uh, si GMA ano, mm-hmm. ng economic plan, na magandang economic plan. Wala bang na-curious na pumasok lang bigla sa isip ko na hindi mo ba kinonsidera na tumakbo sa National Post? I mean, obviously you've done a lot for Albay, naging governor, naging congressman, governor, congressman. Um, hindi ka ba nila na na hatak or na kinunbinsi na imbitahan na tumakbo sa National Post? Or na pag-isipan mo ba man lang yan? <laughs> uh, wala naman. And then you have to contend with the Filipino psyche. It, uh, it's obsession with uh, name recall. Uh, but to me, uh, um, if you define me, actually, my, I am a devotee of Albay development. And I am well known here for constant kindness. I've never attacked anyone verbally or in otherwise. I always just uh, promote uh, the affirmative in everybody. And that Because I have 23 nuns in my mother's side. I have three priests and a bishop on my two. So, ang turo lang sa kami nila yung sabi ko, permin mabuot, always kind. So, with that, I think uh, you combine this with um, what uh, Father Intengan was able to incite me. Uh, is an uh, is a kind of unceasing restlessness to do something every day that will make this world better. And to me, that unceasing restlessness, I think, can uh, my powers are only applicable are are, are are only sufficient for for my province not um, in terms of national parang um, I am so handicapped because of the, the kind of milieu we are operating right now so at the end of the day it's all about milieu it's all about worldview my worldview and the Filipino cultural milieu uh, I think there's a big cluster and therefore that abolishes any possibility for my national position. Hmm. Okay. Like English to pa. Hindi ako mananalo in Tagalog. <laughs> Tutuloy na namin to. Okay. Simulan na natin yung lightning round. Sige. O ito. Itong uh, unang issue. Uh, Kong, itong uh, pagsasampanan kaso sa mga organizer ng campaign rallies not observing health protocols. Are you pro or anti? Uh... Una una yung uh, uh, may ano kasi diyan eh kumbaga uh, mitigating factor eh eh napakamilitaristic na ng mga ano eh yung mga alert levels eh kaya hindi ako sa ngayon kasi nga kung ako I'm definitely against I, I, I have tons and tons and tons of studies using my data analytics group I think the militaristic approach of the IATF we <laughs> is no longer suitable to the current conditions. They, in fact, they have already tested the limits of the forbearance for pain, sacrificing a lot of our personal liberties for a long time, and given a micron and everything, there's no, no more basis for that. And therefore, there is no uh, existential basis for that case. There may be legal basis, but no existential case. Mm-hmm. Ito kanina, bago tayo nagsimula, Kong, eh nawalang ka ng kuryente. So, madalas pa rin mag-brown out sa inyong lugar. Are you pro or anti sa additional geothermal power plant to service Albay districts first? Uh, oh, oh, in fact, I'm in favor of nuclear plants. Mm-hmm. For base load. Mm-hmm. Ba- mas magandang tanong, I, am I in favor of, of coal? Yes. 
because with the uh, Philippines bought in the United Nations, uh, UNFCCC, the right to affordable energy and the cheapest energy is coal. Therefore, the Philippines has a right to coal. If the world wants us to contribute to emission, they should pay for it. We have seven billion dollars in stranded coal assets. So unless they pay for it, we have the right to coal. We have the right to for the Philippines accounts for only 0.3 percent of total global emissions, but we actually are number three in terms of the impacts of climate change. So uh, unless they finance it, both sides on the mitigation as well as on the adaptation, I think I will fight for coal. Okay. And uh, last issue partner is the one-party system for president and vice president. Kong Joey, are you pro or anti? Actually, it serves us well. Because, I don't know, if si Sarah wants to SND, so ang ang chika kagad, ang marites agad tungkol jan ano? Eh. <laughs> Bakak makudit. <laughs> so, uh, uh, ang point ko jan is. I think the Philippines' uh, vibrancy as a democracy, given the fact that uh, we are very weak political party system, should actually benefit from uh, creative tension mm-hmm. amongst the institution. Again, I hark back to Hannah Red, the way I look at it in terms of our our maturity as a people in terms of civic engagements. So, hindi naman sa masaya ako na nag-aaway ang presidente sa kabisi presidente. But at least, you know, there is that um, um, there is that uh, source of um, of uh, vibrancy for ano. Uh, so, I, to me, okay lang sa akin na hindi sila magkapartido. Especially na kay Lenny ako at saka na kay Sarah ako. So, obvious na kagad yan na I will not agree to that. So I mean, it's not. I don't. I don't think it will be. There's no orthodoxy that says that it's good for the country, unless the Senate president, the the vice president, sits as the Senate president, like the U.S. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll just pause for a short break, Kong. Stay tuned for our challenge. You're still watching. All politics is local. Haven't loaded your signal box for three months? It's time to bring back the awesome! Just load any amount until March 31. Through Smart Load Retailers, Smart Pasa Load, and online to get your next load for free! What are you waiting for? Enjoy your favorite channels and discover more when you bring back the awesome! <laughs> Bilis, no? Sulitin ang weekend with these steps. Yes! Just go to your nearest smart load retailer or use your smart sim to pass a load. Choose your desired light load and enjoy over 100 premium channels for two days. Yan ang hashtag Signal Hacks. Make weekends more awesome with Signal Light Loads. Light sa budget, premium ang viewing. Dagdag channels ba ang hanap mo? Sa Satellite TV! May bagong channels na ikasasayo mo ng todo! Mama Food Trip! Cartoons! O Movie Marathon! Todo enjoy ang buong pamilya dahil ano man ang load mo, siguradong may bago ang mapapanood! Kaya punta na sa Suking Retailer at mag-load ka! Welcome back. You're still watching All Politics is Local with us, Albay, 2nd District Representative and re-electionist Joey Salceda. Kung na-warm up ka na, Kong, kanina sa ating lightning round, ito na yung ating ultimate challenge. Na mukha naman partner Jay, no? Sisiw na sisiw lahat sa kanya eh. Tignan natin kung medyo mag-iinit siya dito sa ating ultimate challenge. Kong, uh, tatawagin natin itong Hata Hata Salsada. 
kasi salted, eh, pero salsada. Ayan, hata hata salsada. Kilala po ang Bicol region sa masarap. Nako, isa yan sa mga paborito kong pagkain eh. Ayan, at maanghang na pagkain, oh, medyo hot person ako partner eh. I love spicy food. At sa inyong distrito nga po ay sikat ang hot pinangat sa kamalig. Ah, yan. Sa ang pagkain maanghang ninyo maikukumpara yung mga babanggitin po naming personalidad at bakit yun ang napili nyo para sa kanila. <laughs> Napapakamot ng ulo si Kong Joey. <laughs> Taray okay. ka ba magluto Kong ng mga Bicol food? O kain ka lang? Kain lang. Sarap kain kumain. lang. Pero anong pinakapaborito mong pagkain sa Bicol? Lai. 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 Bicol Express. Oo. Ang sarap. Natatakam ako. Nakakatakot yan eh. Kasi ma-accept. Ano kayo? Uh, rice pa more. Pa- Pagkumain. Pa- pa- Papakanin ka, partner. Oo. <laughs> oh. Kahit na konti lang yung ibibigay sa yung ulam, ang lakas sa kanin talaga. O teka, bago tayo magutom. Okay, Kong ha? Saan pagkaing maanghang ninyo maipukumpara Ito po ang mga babanggitin naming personalidad at bakit yun ang napili nyo para sa kanila. Una po sa aming listahan, <laughs> President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. <laughs> ano kaya yan, partner? <laughs> oh. Dapat multiple choice. <laughs> ha, multiple choice. Sige. Ikumpara natin sa paano ba? Tumingin ko yung, ano, yung peak ng, ano, ng hotness. This is really, ano. Ayun, yung level ng hotness. Oo. Oh, I think, pinaka-hot sa amin is, ano. Uh, From one, one sili to five sili. Ilang sili itong <laughs> personality. Lima. Oh, lima. Lima. <laughs> lima. Lima. Oh, oh, lima. Kung walang, walang pandemic, sigurado ko, ibang-iba na. Uh-huh. Lagpas, oh, next... pa sa, lagpas pa sa lima? <laughs> hindi, kasi yung structural change na hindi kaya na matagal nagawa niya. A rise tarification law, public service uh, create, ang daming vested interest dyan. But uh, dahil wala siyang pinaburan, nagawa ng kongreso. Mm-hmm. Alright, next personality. Ito, interesting partner malaman. No? VP Lenny Robredo. From one sili to five. O, anong ilang sili itong si VP Lenny? Eh, Bicolano ito eh. Hindi siya maanghang eh. Hindi mahilig siya. <laughs> At, uh, ilang sili lang ito? I, I think yung, sim- yung, ano niya, yung simplicity niya in terms of... Uh, she's, she's easy to define in terms of her simply being clean. And um, so, walang complexity sa lasa. Uh-huh. So, ibig sabihin, you see, you, 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 what you see is what you get, basically, dyan sa kanya. So, I would say, what? hindi siya manghang. <laughs> Kasi, uh, very plain, simple, candid, you know, I mean, uh, uh-huh. you see, what, uh, what you see is what you get. So, hindi ka lo ng sili, mapapangiwi ka. Ito, hindi. Hindi maanghang, okay. Mm-hmm. Partner. Hindi maanghang in a good way. Parang gano'n yung sinasabi ni... Uh, uh, mild lang. Kung baga, mild lang, no? Hindi <laughs> naman mild. Hindi siya maanghang talaga. Kasi alam mo kagad kung ano kinakain mo. <laughs> hindi mo kailangan na umin- uminom ng tubig para Walang kainin si... Zero strike. <laughs> kung ulam si Lenny, eh, di, hindi mo kailangan ng tubig. Mm-hmm. Okay. Presidential Bongbong Marcos. Pass. <laughs> Ang bilis. Ha? Pass. 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 <laughs> Ito. Ang hang at all. Mm-hmm. Ni ayaw kainin ni ano eh. Ni ah. kung... <laughs> Ay nung... Actually, ni nung unang... Man... Ni ayaw ko yan ang tikman eh. Ay nung unang manalo yan, inikot ko pa yan sa Magayon Festival eh. Hmm. Oh. Lahat ng table, nakikita niya ako, hindi niya, ano, talagang kikita niya ako nakikipag-inuman sa lahat ng table kasi inakit ko pa siya ng stage. 2010 ito, um, yan lalo naman siya. Kaya ako naman, eh, I'm a good host eh. 
Mm-hmm. Oh. So I hosted him. I went. I toured him sa the uh, festival grounds, basically. Uh, si Senator and Presidential Ball Panfilo Lacson. Ilang sili to? Actually, um, abili ba ko sa kanya? <laughs> Ang gusto ko lang ipakman yung class origin eh. Alam mo, kung ang class origin mo talaga mahirap, naramdaman mo, nadaanan mo, sigurado gagawin mong patakaran na mapapabuti kung saan ka nang galing, di ba? So, kung hindi lang yung kay Pacman, magiging number two choice ko kay Lenny. Actually, it should be Pampilo Lacks. No? In terms of good governance. But in terms of caring for the poor, that genuine desire to care for the poor, You have to know it in order to understand. And Lenny has 14 years of working with the poor eh, as their lawyer. Uh, all the basic sectors. Kaya na, na, na ano ko ng mga laylaya niya eh. Si Mayor Esco Moreno, ganun din naman ah. Pero sa listahan mo, parang pang-apat pang siya, no? Ilang sili siya para sa'yo? Ah, dapat pala ranking na lang. Eh, di sinunod natin yung lima down to. <laughs> <laughs> Ilang sili si Mayor Pisco? Um <laughs> Ah, nako. Matapos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nakakadalawang pass na to si Kong Joey, ha. Ah, eto, paligid ko hindi na magpapas sa susunod na personality partner. Eh kasi eh kasi naman ano, ayoko talaga I mean, constant kindness philosophy ko. Really, I cannot say negative things about others. Uh-huh. Uh, I'd rather predict their behavior, uh-huh. their policies. Ito so, pong I... Joey. Ito si Pulse Asia leading vice presidential ball, Sara Duterte. Ilang sili kaya ito? Super sili. <laughs> <laughs> Isang kilong sili. <laughs> Wala kung isa-isayin ko yung mga innovation niya dun sa Davao. Naku, talagang kikiligin ka eh. At saan nakita ko yung katrabaho ko siya sa, region, uh, sa Regional Development Committee ng NEDA. Tatlo lang kami doon. Kikita mo talaga, um, not, uh, hindi naman yung conscious na humility. But you can see na pag, uh, bago siya magsalita, kukunin niya sa kanyang staff, bago siya magbasa. So I mean, there's, there's reliance on complete staff work. I should study sa lesson, read it. You know, unlike the father who hates reading, you know, and then I, I she studies her homework. I mean, and there is that gut, that that um, feeling for the jugular, rather than you know going through the peanuts of policy. So she she would go for the jugular. So, oh, Joey, where do you credit uh, Sara Duterte's popularity? Is it because? Uh, doon sa mga mga sinabi mo yung kanyang innovations yung kanyang kagali ano, pag nakilala mo siya yung pagiging ano, kumbagera niya <laughs> dahil lang sa Duterte yung kanyang surname the case uh, what's up what's in the public image is her uh, social justice ano na yun, platform yung kanyang pag ano na Sherry basically Although people do not know that they talked to the sheriff before that and there was already an agreement and still he, that, that the sheriff did not follow the agreement. So it's so to me... Ah, well, <laughs> yung, but that, that creates in the minds of men the strong, the willfulness, almost like a Nietzsche and Superman also. Very much like Marcos, but it is the father. And here, it is... It is, it is, it, it's her. Doon sa brand ng toughness ng kanyang ama, uh, would you agree na ganun? Hindi, yeah. gan- ang layo gan- naman. Wala okay. naman human rights abuses under Sarah. <laughs> it's simply because she does her lesson and she prepares very well, plans it, have a very good execution team in Davao. That is why what looks like, you know, um, a fancy or what, a surgical precision, It looks like uh, a willfulness or decisiveness kasi yung mga plano niya na i-implement talaga. Pag sinabi niya i-implement, pero before that, there was so much planning, so much execution, uh, planning, uh, strat- strategy formulation. So yun ang meron siya. She studies her lesson very well. She plans very well. 
And in fact, the average age of her staff is 32. Mm-hmm. Her father, the average age of the cabinet is 68. <laughs> so how can you compare her to the father? And you know, and uh, alam mo naman yung yeah that this is my interpretation. But I'm not supposed to say this. Pero yun balit balita <laughs> ganon na lang no na pagsisara mo po change all. Mm. <laughs> so yun. Ito. Tanggal lahat, ha? <laughs> uh, hindi mag sabihin, sarili niyang management team. Kasi correct, nga, correct. ang average age, ang bata, 32 or 36, I, I forgot, but I, I we rank, we got all the ages of our staff, we got all the ages of the father's staff. Hmm. The average of the cabinet is 68, the average of your, of our, you know, of our, of our circle of, the management circle is just 36. Definitely below 40. Okay. Kung panghuli na lamang po, saan po ninyo maikukumpara ang isang congressman Joey Sanseda? Mabait. <laughs> Ito ilang sili yun. Hindi maanghang. <laughs> Mas, ano, madaling kainin. <laughs> so, ayaw kasi ano eh. Ay, uh, 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 well, I looked at Pinoy and I look at him, you know, the con- the conscious ordinariness of it all because at this stage in my life or at the the kind of um, like now I am probably the in the totem pole in the house I was probably in the upper upper you know not as a classical note as chairman the way means so you need to reach out to people so you should be as edible and as apparent or obvious with no complexity to the taste so masarap pero madaling kainin <laughs> wow masarap pero madali kainin okay well Thank you for joining us in this episode, Albay Second District Representative Kong Joey Salceda. Baka may gusto ko pang sabihin? Wala, maraming maraming pong salamat, lalong-lalo na po sa ating pong uh, mga kababayan dito sa aking distrito. Sa muling pagbibigay po ng pagkakataon sa akin na manilbihan, matapos ko po ang aking turno sa pangatlong beses bilang congressman. Um, lahat ng ito galing sa inyo, kaya lahat ng ito para sa inyo. All right. We've asked the questions and gotten to know your candidates a little bit better. I'll buy second district. You decide. I'm Jay Tarok. And I'm Cheryl Kosim. Join us tomorrow for another episode of All Politics is Local. to find, but we've seen what belief can do.